One of the activities that I became engaged with uh, as a new lead to this platform was the development of a schematic to depict the different levels of patient and researcher engagement. Prior to my development of this engagement uh, schematic, the SPORE uh, initiative had adopted the what's called the IAP2 framework, International Association of Public Participation Framework, which is, I believe, what Involve in the UK also used. But I found it did not meet the requirements for the activities I was engaged with it in with researchers as well as with our patients. And I do admit that we use the word patient in the Canadian and US uh, initiatives and you use consumer and community. But I will probably say patient from going forward. So in terms of this levels of patient and researcher engagement, it was important to me that the idea of the two being engaged together be represented. Uh, it's not just about patient engagement. It's about patients engaging with researchers and researchers engaging with patients. And in doing that, they both have to meet somewhere in the middle or along the, that spectrum of, uh, of the research activities. Anyway, in, this, uh, in these levels of patient and researcher engagement, the first level is to learn and form, the second is to participate, the third is to consult, the fourth is to involve, the fifth is to collaborate, and the sixth is to lead. Uh, and in Canada and in the United States, we have patients leading uh, research, and I would believe that you would have uh, communities that would be leading research here, so it would be quite similar. As you go from left to right, you need more time, more knowledge, and more funds to be able to engage adequately and meaningfully at those different levels. I want to underline as well the level of participate. This was not an originally in the work that I developed uh, because we were talking all the time about beyond participation. Engagement was about beyond participation. But when we asked through social media, of Albertans, the province that uh, I come from, what they thought engagement was important about them learning. What did they want to learn about in any educational activities we would develop? They wanted to learn about how to get involved in clinical trials. So that spoke loudly to us that they see being participants in clinical trials and other quantitative research like that uh, was powerful for them, and it probably was the door that opened them into deeper levels of engagement. I think at these different levels, this uh, schematic that I've developed that is available online, free access, uh, and open to individuals changing it, making it better, just providing that uh, the original started uh, with IP2 and then with myself. Thank you.